So I thought showing the title for this was appropriate. This is a big title. If, right? Um, this was, this is, well, th uh, there's not really anything else other than this plate of the NWA Women's Tag Team Champions. So the next match was the Hex taking on Red Velvet and Kylan? Kaylin? Kaylin. Kylan. Kylan. I was right the first time. Great. Um, Kylan King to crown the, well, the first of the new era of the Women's Tag Team Champions. Um, they did not show YouTube, but feel free to like. They, they're they're oh oh out. they're 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 gonna do that. Um, you don't have to ask them permission. Right, they're I just know, gonna I know. do it. I have to ask them permission. But in the meantime, <laughs> we'll just show a picture of Tiger Wright being an asshole. So here's the thing. I was so number one. The match itself was once again um a really good match. Yes. I like this match a lot. I thought they paced it once again very well with women who've already wrestled in right. two very good matches. Um, and this one stands out even from those two. Oh yeah, this and, was this was easily the best match of the night up to this point. Really? I think so. Interesting. A lot of great tag team action. You don't expect that from a women's tag team division. I guess. I mean, because I because you look at things like the WWE tag team division, it's not very good. Hmm? The the. Uh, uh, the knock the knockout tag is kind of lackluster. Yeah, that not yeah the NXT uh, tag team is is okay. We haven't seen them in like m weeks. I know, but this was just stellar tag. Team. So here's the thing, um, as tradition of the women's champions, there was only one plate, and then they had this blue yep. strap. I was personally not a fan I'm at a first. I'm a fan of it now. The more I look at it and the, like the detail that went into it, like I'm liking it more and more yeah. as I'm looking at it. But here's the thing, with the two very drastic things with like the world title and this one, I I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not sure why this seafoam green was the choice. If because somebody wasn't that the traditional, I'm not sure. I even looked that up. I could not find it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a not the traditional. It was not, or it was a nod? It was a nod. Oh, okay. To the traditional women's tag team champions. Anyway, it was a really cool... Obviously, it's not the OG, but it's no. a refresh of it. Um, it, it's, it. I mean, it looks nice. It yeah. looks nice. Um, but like I said, I don't like belts that look drastically contrastfully different, which is why I like WWE's, because they're, they're consistent. They're boring. Well, no, they're consistent. <laughs> Like, the women's champions have the white straps, which is actually very traditional so with Billy, women's I think, wrestling. I think Billy Corgan's next belt should have an orange strap. Just saying to piss off Tiger Height. I would be very annoyed, actually. I legitimately would be annoyed. I think that he should have an orange strap. <laughs> they, they probably will. Thanks for giving them yep. that. So, um, anyway, the Hex did win. So, mm -hmm. Serena and Marty Bell. So, Marty Bell, I think, is the first... Um, Dominican Republic NWA champion ever, which is cool. And then, um, and then uh, 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 the other person, whoever her name was. Uh, Sienna? Yeah, Sienna. She was the first, I think, Mexican-born. No, uh, Sienna was born in Detroit. You're oh. thinking of Marty Bell. I am thinking of Well, I, I don't know. Anyways, you, might, you, might, you might be thinking of um, uh, La Rebellion. We'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. Who cares? Anyways, let's Anyway, go on. Uh, once again, great match. Titles, titles are really cool. I do recommend watching this. It was really yes. nice. All right, so we're going to make Pro Wrestling Majestic again. So we're going to start off with the um, NWA World Tag Team Champions that happened tonight. Um, here's my thing. My ass hurts. I know. <laughs> Mine does too. Um, I did like this change, but I really wanted to see a Kratos-Stevens breakup. That's what I would have done. Because then you give these well, two... Well, right, but I think that will play out on power. So, don't worry about it. Uh, but the problem is, is that you're on this big stage and you have all these people. You can get up and take a stretch if you want. I adjusted. I think maybe you should adjust. Ow. Oh, God, my ass hurts <laughs> so bad. Mine does too. Um, with, Ow. With this one, honestly... I wouldn't have done a damn thing different. The no, it was, the, it was a the good match. The Lou, absolutely nothing. Um, also, once again, um, especially with what we talked about with this match, right. you had Crimson, who lost the match, 
in a rivalry with Jax Dane. Exactly. You know, that's going to be sweet. Tom Latimer is with Strictly Business, so he's going to be fine. And with Tim Storm, he's kind of winding down his career, but he still right. did a great job. Yeah. And I think it was a really good feel-good moment, especially for um, Tim Storm, who tried his best with the NWA, especially in a dark period, being the world champion at that time. Exactly. Um, a really good send-off for him. I don't know if he's retired or not, by the way. Uh, Chris Adonis, James Storm. <sighs> Here's my, mm. I'm not sure what I would do. Here's, um, I don't think I really could have done anything different. I, I wouldn't change a thing. Exactly. It was um, fine. For what it was, it was fine. Well, now, no. now, could they have done a clean match? Yes, they could have. They should I, have. No, but... no, no, no. Here's my thing. Um, the match itself, once again, was fine up until the finish. Then the finish was awesome because um, that kind of like weird sloppy pin whatever thing. If four was a rivalry. Right. Um, James Storm is clearly not in the picture of the NWA World Heavyweight Champion right now. And I don't want James Storm to be sitting on the shelf. So him and Adonis continuing some sort of rivalry is a good it's thing. Fine. Right. But also, James Storm is not only with Adonis, but Adonis is with Strictly Business. He can go into a rivalry right. with um, Tom Latimer as um, Adonis has to defend the title now against Josias. Right. So, you know, there's a lot of different things with this, especially with this, like, crazy pin. Yeah. That's something that can happen more. Right. It's something that can be done in the future. Right. So, the, once again, an open an open chapter right. that you got to finish, and I don't mind that. Once again, thinking five steps ahead. I wouldn't have done a damn thing different. Not a single thing different. Nope. Um, I probably would have given the match a little more time. Yep, that's the only thing. Um, maybe a little more um, drama, maybe something so razor close, maybe even a false finish. Yeah, where Adonis did something sneaky and rolled up um, uh, Trevor Murdoch, where he like won, and then Murdoch got like, and then uh, Corgan came out and did that, and then that's where the fight started with Adonis and Corgan. That would have been cool. Mm -hmm. There would have been a lot of better ways to do the ending than they did, but but you know what, the uh, right person won. Yes, one hundred percent. And now, um, Aldis is going to do something that I think instead of Donis, Aldis, Nick Aldis, Mick, Mickey James, and Kylie Ray. Mm, I wouldn't have done the match. Yeah, I feel like this match was totally useless. It was useless. Um, you could have ignored it. I ignored it, and I I, I felt fine. I should have ignored it, but I'm sorry. I don't like it when things are stupid, especially when it comes to a big pay-per-view. No. It, it doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. Mickey James, if they were going to do this match, this should have happened on Empower. There was no reason for this at all. None. Mm -hmm. um, but the only thing that really saved this was the Deanna Perrazzo attack. Oh, yes. That is legitimately it. But, you know, it, hindsight's twenty twenty. Mickey James maybe should have chosen a different opponent. Uh, a couple of other matches that should have happened that could have been better that I just didn't have pictures for. Um, the six-man tag, I would right. have totally put on something different, not this. Yeah, the six-man tag one. was full of shit. It was full of shit. It was total garbage. I would have put that on this pay-per-view. I would have taken that time. And separated out to some better matches. Yep. Maybe that world title match could have been a 30 minute, like, right. awesome match. A 30 minute classic. Right. Um, time limit draw, five more minutes. Are you kidding me? Everybody in that building would have lost their damn minds. Right. That would have been sweet. Yeah. So, it would have done something totally different than that. On um, the Ric Flair segment, Maybe drawn a little too much, but, you know, it's Ric Flair. It's Ric Flair. I like, I, I like some of the little stories that they had. A lot yep. of people really liked it. So, great. Um, uh, the uh, Camille Chelsea Green match. I would have done a different contender, especially where they were. Um, and but Camille winning was totally fine. It was fine. It was a right call overall. Yep. Let's go to Empower. Let's talk about the Women's Invitational Cup. I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm sticking. I'm putting my foot down on it. Um, Tootie Lynn should have won. 
if you were going to want to build a star, especially where they were, even if she lost her women's title match, it would have been a much better story than Chelsea Green winning, who's already established. She didn't have to win this, right. but she did. Right. Um, I probably wanted to, I that's what I would have done. I would have had the hometown girl win. Yeah. Face off, assign her to a full deal because she did really good. Mm-hmm. And well, then, I I disagree with you on that. But okay, well, elaborate then. Well, I don't think she was that good. There was just we didn't know anything about her until she fucking debuted. You want someone who can draw viewers. And Chelsea Green can draw viewership. I, I, I hate this being... was a this was a strategic move on NWA's uh... part to draw attention to the fact that Chelsea Green was on the pay per view. Ah, not some noob. Here's my thing. Um, obviously it was sold out both nights. Yeah. And people were not going to pay for the women's world title match on the 73rd. No. It was there. Right. But with the pop that I saw from Lynn, with the family there, there would have been a really good story there. But here's the thing. Maybe, I mean, but I just didn't know who she was. I didn't really care. I guess. Um, I probably would have chosen like, eh, I don't know. I would have done like Debbie Malenko or something. Maybe. Um, instead of Chelsea Green. Somebody who's established... And also, like, oh, my God, this is another big payday where um, we could have maybe um, told the story a little bit better there. Right. But, you know, maybe they just didn't know how good Chelsea or how good Debbie was going to be. Maybe. Maybe exceeded their expectations. Uh, I would have done anything different. This was awesome. My Layla Hirsch was okay. I... I don't think she was ready for this. Layla, Layla Hirsch but... won. Layla Hirsch won a very high profile profile match to get this opportunity, and then once again you had Camille on um, right. AEW doing that, and then I thought they had a good build up. So honestly, and then also the match itself was very good. They needed Camille to face somebody else outside of the roster because I think they're trying to build that roster back. Mm-hmm. So. If um, Layla Hirsch had to be the quote unquote sacrificial lamb for Empower, I think it was the right call. I wouldn't have done anything different. All right. Given given that. Right. I wouldn't have done a damn thing different. Why the fuck would you? Not a single damn thing. And that's not because, you know, we've been doing this for a while, just because this match was awesome. Yeah. Um, especially with the attitudes. And also, they built it really well. So. They did. Especially on impact. I love the attitudes. That that mm-hmm. made this match more than anything. Absolutely. Oh, women's tag. I wouldn't have done anything different. I thought they had a really nice mix of different teams. Yep. Um, they had a really good pacing of everything involved in this. And um, I thought the right girls won. It really establishes a good precedent for the titles going forward. Especially for the NWA women's roster. It was NWA women who won. Right. And I'm excited to see where this goes. And at the end of the day, especially with an introduction with a new belt, that's what you want. Right. You want that excitement. We already talked about it. I wouldn't have done anything different regarding any of these. No. Um... I know you don't want to talk about it, but the triple threat match. It has to, it has to be on the card somewhere. What would oh, you Oh, fuck this shit. Well, number one, this... Diamante was the, was the one that really made this horrible. I'm sorry. It was her and the ref. The ref was not good. Um, I would have chosen a different ref. Yeah. And I would have done like maybe like a little gimmick here where Diamante may have tagged from behind and had a surprise. Right. Or maybe take somebody out. Because who of, cares about Diamante? Right. Or take somebody out of the Women's Invitational Cup or maybe bring in somebody else from AEW. How about Thunder Rosa? Right. Have Thunder Rosa face these girls? That would have been a good match. Um, anybody else but Diamante? Diamante was out of place. She was sloppy. Yeah. She's never been good. 
I would have rather had Ivelisse. Right. Ivelisse isn't even on the roster. I would have rather had her. Yeah. Or maybe Kira Hogan in this. She would have been fine. Kira Hogan was great during the show. But, um, you they, know, they, they, I, they mean, a- I mean, Kylie Ray, she's... She... She's... She's okay, but she cannot carry the match. No. I felt like that... I felt like that Kylie Ray was being asked to carry this match, and it was just not good. Right. And Chick Tormenta, the problem is with Chick Tormenta is that this is a totally new style. Um, Chick Tormenta was fine, but once again, it's a totally different style than what it is right. here in America. So um, she was not leading. Kylie Ray was leading. Right. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because she's on and off, but she, it was just not her position. It just wasn't. Bring in somebody else for this instead of Diamante. Um, you know, that you have a ton of women that would have been perfect for this role. Right. Um, Rihu would have been great for this. That would have been a really fun oh, little yeah, match. About that. Um, Nyla Rose would have been a great spot for this. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Nyla Rose has that snap and intensity that would have really incorporated because that's really what was missing here. Was it was felt too careful. Yeah. Um, somebody a little more confident. Um, um, Emmy Sakura, um, an established yeah. veteran. That would have been a really nice um, integration there. Or how about a stardom girl? Mm-hmm. That would have been really nice. Yeah. Especially because um, Bushi Road, who owns NJPW, owns stardom. And stardom right. will have exhibition matches um, at the next show, which will be next week on our show, by the way. Um and speak of the devil, I think maybe we should talk about that. I think we should. So next week, what are we, because we're pretty much at the end here of our show, what yep. are we going to discuss? Well, of course, we got Rast, and of course, we got Hecklin, but... With three pay-per-views? Well, it's two. It's three. One of them is just a two-night show. I don't consider that oh my God. three pay-per-views. It's, it's three pay-per-views. The three shows are three pay-per-views. They're not, but we'll do a, maybe we'll do a shorter heckling and a shorter wrestling, right. but I I would consider, I'd consider the NJPW show to be just one show. Right. It's depending on how many matches and how long they're going to be. Anyway, um, we have Lord. both, both nights of Wrestle Grand Slam. We got Slam. Grand Slam. We got AEW. It's just going to be a tremendous It's going to be, a, it's going to be a great week, especially with, you know, yeah. following this, it's like, how are you going to compete with that? So I'm really excited. So. If you did enjoy the video, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel wherever you're listening this on, um, either on YouTube, Stitcher, podcasts, anywhere wherever you're watching it, go ahead and do that. Uh, share it with your friends and mm-hmm. become a patron where you yep. can get cool exclusive stuff. And we're going to be releasing merch here soon, hopefully at some point in time until I can get to it. But as always, be majestic. majestic.